Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. A warm welcome back to Win a Home on Afternoon Express exclusively on SABC3. Private Property has teamed up with Afternoon Express to provide you with advice on the different aspects of property on estates. Within Southern Africa, South Africa has the highest proportions of older population with more than one in eight persons, around 5.6 million, aged between 50 and over, and nearly 7%, 2.9 million, aged between 60 and above. So many of these older people are choosing to live in retirement villages and developers are scrambling to keep up with the huge demand for this type of development. Joining us once again today is Carol Reynolds, North Durban Area Principal for Pam Golding Properties. Welcome back to our loft. Thank you, nice to be here. So why is there such a demand for retirement villages? Well, I think it is largely to do with the aging population, but also retirement villages are bridging a gap between downscaling from your old family home and moving into a traditional old age home. Okay. What developers have done now is they've created these beautiful lifestyle security estates with extra benefits, which are the healthcare benefits. So people are moving into retirement villages when they're younger and they're enjoying this beautiful, secure, amazing lifestyle. Mm. And then they've got the advantage of having the healthcare as and when they need it. Okay, because I always had a fear, like I want to retire at 30. <laughs> I'm going to try and see if I can retire at 30 and put that stamp on my, uh, on my sort of like yes. life story. Um, but I mean, what kind of other homes can you get? Because I'm always worried that retiring at 30 means I'm going to have to go live in a hospital bed. No, this is the beauty of these new villages. So they're young, trendy, they're contemporary, the architecture's beautiful. Um, so they really are about creating lifestyle estates for the older population. Okay. And then with that, you've got all the medical care and the facilities. And there's certain factors that are um, distinct. Mm. Things like you need to have simplexes, so there's no stairs. And the paving and the landscaping is all crafted carefully so yeah. that people don't trip and fall easily. Mm. So all those factors are taken into account. Okay, so let's talk about healthcare, because you mentioned it twice now. I think it's one of the most vital parts yes. about this, yes. especially because I know both of my sets of grandparents lived in retirement villages before yeah. they passed on. And one of the greatest assets that we had was the access, and easy access to, to healthcare. 100%. When you buy into a retirement village, you need to research the healthcare facilities very carefully. Because some will offer frail care, some will offer a step-down facility, some will have assisted nursing. You need to decide what it is that you're looking for and then yeah. buy accordingly. And you even need to look at the detail of what the frail care comprises. Are there going to be nurses full-time? Are they going to be doing chronic medication as and when needed? doing um, their rounds, so to speak, like doctors do in a hospital, yeah. do the nurses do rounds every morning and evening. Yeah. So those sort of details are very important. Okay, so how does it work when you're trying to buy into one of these retirement villages? Because one of my fears, obviously, is that, I mean, are the criteria for an age gap? I don't want to have a young person living in there where I needed for my grandparents or my parents. Yeah. How does that work? So the age has actually dropped quite a lot. You can now get into some retirement villages at the age of 50, which is lovely. So you're young, healthy, vibrant, and you can enjoy this great lifestyle. But they're also different different types of ownership. So conventional ownership is full title freehold where mm. you own the buildings and the land. And then there's sectional title ownership where there's common property that's owned by the body corporate and you own your section of the buildings. Oh, that can be either an apartment or a little um, unit on its own. But what's really nice with retirement is some of them have life rights schemes mm. which are more affordable for retirees. Um, but you don't actually acquire ownership of a property per se. You acquire the rights to live, use and enjoy that property for the duration of your lifetime. Okay, so there are multiple ways that you can get involved in, in this. All right, in terms of the hotspots, I mean, where are the hotspots in our country when it comes to retirement estates? Pretoria's got Waterfall Estate that's been very popular. The Winelands and Cape Town are very popular. And I'm proud to say that KZN is probably ah. the most popular province at the moment mm. for retirement because of its climate. True. So you can live in Howick, which is close to the Midlands if you're looking for a country retirement. And then obviously you've got the Coastal Belt, which is very popular. You can go down the South Coast, which is affordable and that's why it's popular and the north coast with its convenience to the to the airport and all the amenities and I'm Schlanger, excellent hospitals the beautiful beaches north coast is becoming extremely popular mm, for absolutely. retirees so I, I'm always about the money I want to know the numbers yes. uh, is buying into retirement estate an investment still or is it more of an investment in like oh I just want to make sure that all these facilities are nearby? There. to be honest it's one of the best investments you can make if you look at a waiting list 
for retirement villages, it goes on and on and on. Yeah. So you will never be short of tenants. And when you're investing in property, you're looking at your rental returns and you're looking at your capital growth. And both are very good on retirement villages. So it pays you to retire early? 100%. <laughs> Carol, thank you so much. I'm off to retire. There you have it. Retirement estates offer a brilliant lifestyle for retirees and are an excellent investment in a growing market. Now, whether you are nearing retirement age or not, there's never been a better time to enter the Winner Home Grand Prize competition on the private property website to stand a chance to win the multi-million rand home on the Eye of Africa estate. All you have to do is log on to privateproperty.co.za and answer a very easy question. Now listen, after the break, I check in with our design viewers to see how green their fingers are.